All right, everyone, I'm going to show you what happened with the truck the last time I worked on it. I kind of had to stop because uh, I had somewhere to be. So you can tell I'm just kind of chipping away at it a few minutes at a time. So let's get you uh, looking at the truck here and let's take a look. All right, so what I ran into, which I do believe I said this might get me in trouble later, but it's really more of a problem with the just the having the right parts, I think, from the original versus custom. So these, the inlet and the outlet for the pressure and the return line, they are so close to the fender. I mean, it's just like maybe a couple of inches right there on each one. The original ones, I like, just came up and then they hooked around and then they went straight that way into the engine bay. The ones that I have are just right angles, but they're hitting this. They're just barely, like I need like a quarter inch clearance so i don't know what do you guys think should i beat that thing up a little bit and just kind of put a big dent on the fender right there so i have room um i have actually seen people just cut a hole there for the ports to make it easier to work on um maybe find other fittings the fittings that i have i can't imagine getting much tighter than that so let me go get them and i'll show them to you all right, here's the two fittings that I have. This is for the return line, and that's the high pressure side. So you can see, I mean, they're probably maybe three inches or so. This one, after you put it all on there, is probably almost the same. So they just barely, they're just enough to where you can't put them on straight to catch the threads. But it's very close. I'll show it to you on the truck here. Uh, I forgot that I put the caps on already, but basically if I hold it right next to it, you can kind of see with this one is that it's just got to go right there. And I don't know if you can really see, but it's just definitely hidden. Sorry, it's very dark. I just realized, so you probably can't see much, but basically I got to figure out how to make more room there. And I'm not quite sure how yet. It did kind of bring up a question though that I was thinking about with these AN lines about the pressure side. Some people see you, you need PF, PFLE lines, like a very specific high pressure line to handle the pressures associated with the power steering. This is called CFE uh tubing that comes with it and it's like working psi is 500 with the burst strength of 1500 i want to say it's either 1500 or 2000 which seems like that's within the range of what it can operate uh safely for this so i'm not really sure about what to do i might be able to kind of make a make a hose out of that you know that's no problem that's why i bought it but if that's not going to be enough i'm not super sure on how to get the space i need to put in these adapters and they also have like some of these other styles too like the factory ones you can get a factory one but the problem is is that like they have the other end of them doesn't really fit obviously this one would because it just goes to a you know a port on the pump for the return so i probably could get away with one of those but the pressure side goes to um goes also to the pump i guess right but it's like a very specific fitting and i don't know how that would made up so here's a braided line that i got off the amazon and you can see it it has like the stainless like mesh on the outside but i don't think it has it like on the inside or in the middle of the hose but like i said it's supposed to be at 500 pounds working and 1500 burst so you guys will have to let me know what you think if that's enough or if i need to get something more high pressure hi tad tad
Are you watching everybody work on the truck? You want to lick everybody's face while they're working on it so I don't let you out? Hmm? Right, here are the two fittings that I have. So this is for the return line. Whoops. Like it's just barely hitting it.